ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश वेलकम टू साई पर्स ऑफ विजडम वेरी फ्यू ऑफ अस नो दैट बाबा वाज विजिटेड बाय ए फॉरेनर एंड स्वामी वाज एट कमलापुरम स्टेइंग विथ हिज ब्रदर studying in the elementary school so young and uh, it is at that time a foreigner met swami to my knowledge he is the first foreigner who have met bhagwan let's have few details about this blessed soul his name is wolf messing wolf messing he is uh, a jewish person and uh, hails from poland and most unfortunately he lost all his near and dear and they were literally killed by the nazi regime later wolf messing started visiting many countries he is a psychologist and he was demonstrating psychological experiments for a long time across the world it was in the year 1939 he went to russia where he married and settled down there of course he breathed his last because of kidney failure in moscow this is a few of his biographic details and as most of you know during every summer we had a training course for university students on indian culture and spirituality and on the last day swami always necessarily spoke on his childhood and these details which i'm going to share with you were recorded when he addressed students swami was speaking about wolf messing a powerful spiritual personality by name wolf messing arose exhibiting a purified consciousness and an insight marked by divine characteristics messing prayed i seek only to spread your glory on earth hence i am not frightened of the tactics of the evil men messing once came to india to realize the atmic principle he undertook a variety of spiritual exercises with this end in view and subsequently he acquired divine vision then he could truly announce that he had attained a constant awareness of atma being ever conscious of that supernal unifying principle baba then went on to narrate an interesting incident something that according to baba he had until then not revealed anywhere to anyone baba would say i was on the move the whole day with some groups of boys who had gathered around me and was at kamalapuram with them on seeing me one person 
named Wolf Messing, ran up to me, took me in his arms and kissed me with tears pouring down his cheeks and uttering the words, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. He was also madly dancing with joy, repeating, I love you, I love you. My companions who were watching this wonder, this white man, he looks like a lunatic. Evidently, he's planning to kidnap us. As we moved away, he was standing, reverted to the spot, wistfully watching me until I disappeared from his view. The chief characteristics of such a Sai, let me tell you, is equanimity. These are the words directly from Bhagavan. Later, on another occasion, in a private gathering, Baba revealed more. He said that Wolf Messing was traveling from Madras to Kadapa through Kamalapuram. The train stopped at Kamalapuram station for a break. Some boys, along with little Satya, were playing on the other side of the station. He saw Satya and got down with his luggage and came towards the boys. All the boys ran away into a nearby house and the young Baba went to his own house. The boys thought that the white man had come to kidnap the children. Messing came in front of Satya's house and sat across the road waiting there for two long hours. The elders noticed this and inquired why he was there. He said that he had come to speak and seek blessings from a particular boy in the house opposite. Even as some elders were also watching the strange man, from the very house, Messing was surveying as Satya stood behind them and raised his hands in blessing, Abhaya Hastam. Messing got what he wanted and returned to the station, leaving by the train. Well, I thought that it is necessary that we should also think of this great noble soul Rather, the first foreigner who met Bhagavan and recognized his divinity. And it is our fortune to have heard it from the whole episode from Bhagavan's lips. In this context, I would also would like to draw your attention to another aspect which is quite unique. The parents of Bhagwan Baba are really blessed. And after Baba declared his avatarhood, he started calling his father Griham Abai, Griham Abai, the boy of the house, and his mother Griham Amai, the girl of the house. They used to call him Swami, as did other devotees. They settled down well in their new roles with fortitude and commitment. Isurama, the mother of Bhagwan, would look after visiting devotees, particularly women and the poor, while Venkamarazu, the father, would be the traditional storekeeper of the new ashram. He really adapted himself to the new way of life, the selfless service to the devotees of God. People remember him for his calm demeanor. Isurama 
was a mother to everyone who visited Puttaparthi. She would submit caring petitions to Baba on behalf of suffering children, women and all those suffering from any deprivation. Often the mother in her took the better of her and she quite forgot who her son was actually. It was painful for her to realize that Baba was beyond danger, parental care or even earthly concern. She did not give up the duty of feeding Baba. However, even in the later years too, Isirama was no stranger to life's sorrows. When her daughters were widowed, she bore her burden nobly. Moreover, she had Baba to fall back on in the most trying times. Learning from his example of serving others, she began to share the sorrows of other women, thereby sublimating her grief. In this sense, she was her son's best student. The couple had witnessed innumerable leelas, the divine sport, and had gone on pilgrimage to various holy shrines accompanying Baba in the later years. This further sanctified their lives. On his birthday, they had the privilege of anointing the head of their divine son with consecrated oil. A short and sudden illness visited Venkamarazu in the late October 1963 and took him away. A few days later, on the 4th of November, yes, he breathed his last in the house of his youngest son, Janaki Ram. Baba, in an article in Sanatana Sarathi, on when Kamarazu had written that the avatar confers the status of father on the person of his choice and that this honor is conferred only once in an era when God decides to don human vesture to uplift humanity. On May 6th, 1972, Baba was emerging from his morning bath. It was during the summer course in Bangalore. In the lobby below, after her morning coffee, Isarma shouted out, Swami, Swami. Baba responded, I am coming, I am coming. The Blessed Mother had breathed her last. This way, the parents are really blessed. The parents are chosen by Bhagwan, which does not happen in the life of a human being. It was his will that they played the role of parents. Particularly Swami's love towards his mother was so ideal, was so great that he used to uh, shed tears whenever a mention was made about her. Therefore, in this brief talk, I wanted to bring to your attention the first foreigner who met Bhagavan Baba, Wolf Messing, and secondly, few words about the blessed parents.